This is 07 to 2010 GMC half ton. We're going to put the extreme front end replacement on this truck. The first thing you do is go ahead and pop your hood and this little plastic piece on top of here needs to come off. There's just there's eight little pegs here. You're just going to get a screwdriver and you're going to pull that little peg up and it pops out. There's eight of them in here. Once you take that off you can set it on the table somewhere and you're going to set it up here out of the way. It will go back on. Um, the next thing you need to do, you need to get over here on the side. There's two 932nd, you need to use a nut driver. There's two 932nd little bolts here that you need to take off of there. This piece of plastic comes off and it does not go back. It does not go back on. So take that off of there. Once you get those off, it just pops out. It's just little pegs in there. It's going to pop out of there. Another reason, we do it two reasons to take this off. There's some more little clips in there. You just stick your hand down in there and you loosen them up. And you work your way around it. And that plastic comes off of there. I think there's one more there. And you can have one person on that end and this side pops off. Okay? Then you take that and set it and I'd keep a hold of it in the garage or somewhere in case you want to put it back on later if you sell the truck. You want to take the front end off. Now we're going to take, I've got two long extensions that really helps with a 21 millimeter socket on the end of it. What we're going to do is right down here there's, there's two bolts, one on each side has got to come loose. That's the bolt right there that's got to come out. So you're going to take both of them off. It's a long bolt. I did not mention though on the under underneath there's a brace on each side. We're going to, when we get the bumper off we're going to show it to you so you can see it better with the bumper off. Once you get the two bolts out on the brake on one side, and then you loosen the other one, the bolt the bumper will come off. And again, you're going to take that off. Save these. You're going to use them to put your bracket on here in a minute. Okay, we've already taken the braces underneath off, so another gentleman's going to get on the other side, and we're going to take this bumper off, and I'm going to show you which other two braces underneath on each side. Yep, I forgot to take the plastic off. There's a little plastic shield airflow dam right there that you're just going to stick your fingers in. It's just some little pegs that hold it on. And once that comes off, then the bumper will It'll turn. There you go. Okay, over here on this bumper, on the truck, you can see right up underneath here is where the two little 15 millimeter bolts are going to be that that brace went on to. Okay, and on the bumper itself over here, this is the brace we're talking about. That's where those two 15 millimeter bolts go. And you'll loosen this one just so it can lay down like that and it'll come out of the truck. The next step you probably want to do, you can do the lights right now. If you want to, why don't we just do the light, one of these lights here. I forgot which size socket it is. I should have found it. There's a socket that you can actually put over that thing and it represses them ears and it makes it easier to take out. I'm going to find that socket here in just a second. Over here on the truck, let's go to this truck, Jonathan. We're going to, this is the brackets that's going to go up here, okay? That bolt that you took out is going to replace that. Go back down in there like that, okay? But before you do that, you got to go to your chrome bumper, and I think that was 15 millimeters, and take those other little braces off there. With the 15 millimeter sockets you need to take these four bolts out right there. Just hold your finger on the back side because it's like a little dowel in there and settles flying if it pushes out of the top.
carriage bolt type deal. But Pop some little bolts out. And we're gonna pull that guy out. Okay, and we're gonna go back over and put that in. But while I'm right here, it was a 13 millimeter socket that we use. You can take these lights out. If you slip it down over there, it presses those little ears in there. One, two. And there's the light okay it just pushes the little ears right there together and it helps it you see how they just push in there and then it'll slip through there okay I'm gonna grab that bracket in one hand but let's go over here and stop in the guard or in the front end while we're while I got that light already in my hand what we got provided here is three three eighths washers we're gonna put that light in there as of that and sometimes some little ears those little things get bent a little close together and you can sit there and bend it apart a little bit and say it's no big deal put their washers on there and you're gonna clip them down on there it's gonna be the same thing that other housing did I didn't mention to you just a minute ago when you before you take your bumper off there's some little clips in there make sure you unplug your lights because that harness will stay up underneath the truck so just unclip your lights right there and that's all there is to putting the lights in um, we got our bracket here again that we just took out of the bumper. We're going to come back over and see we got to put that on there because your little clip for your long bolts in the bottom of that guy right there. We're going to put him on there as of that nature. We're going to grab our long bolt and here's our mounting bracket. You see the holes a little bit offset center. Make sure it's to the outside of the vehicle. down in there. And what I would do at first is just snug that bolt. Okay? Don't tighten it up yet because when you put that front end up there that bracket may have to be turned from side to side a little bit and then once you've got it all tightened up underneath there when it's all aligned you can come back up underneath here like you did to get it out and you can finish tightening that bolt. So just snug it a little bit so you can still move it around and what going to mount to the bottom, sneak my air hose over here, this bottom um, tow hook bolt to the front side is where your bottom leg of your front end is going to bolt to. So what I would do first, is go ahead and take that bolt off. And your, your, the bottom leg, the front end, is actually going to go to the outside of the frame, okay? But you want to get that in there and, and um, put that bolt, you end up using your factory bolt. Probably what I would do is go outside to inside like that. That way you don't have to bite your nut when you get that front end up there. Your bolt will be in there to hold it already. But you know, again, say don't tighten this thing yet. Let it stay a little bit loose, okay? Just snug it. And then you're going to get your front end up there but there's one more thing on the side over here that we need to do before you get help to hang your front end this little plastic thing right here has to come off of there okay there's two vertical um, 10 millimeter bolts you can use a nut driver and then there's one horizontal bolt right there it's a little horizontal you get to that little slit right there over here on the side there's just two little pegs right here you can take a screwdriver pop loose okay and you're just gonna say keep a hold of that in case you ever do want to take your front end off and you still got it put away bolts and all that put them somewhere where so you don't lose them but now we're gonna get a couple guys and we're gonna hang this front end and then we're gonna show you how to line everything and get everything lined up and we're gonna go from there it goes to the outside of the tow hook 
with a frame to that bottom bolt on that tow hook we just showed you. And this right here is the brackets that we just put on the top of the frame cap that were replaced out of your chrome bumper. This is what that's going to bolt to right there. Okay. Once you once you've got all that, I'd grab a tape to help you a little bit. You can measure center to center on 34 and a half. So what I do to make sure that these brackets are pretty darn close, I'll come down here and make a mark to get pretty close in here. So you're 34 and a half. So we need 17 and a quarter from center to the center of your hole. Okay. So that's how you can do. It. Just make sure you get 17 and a quarter. And over here too, we're going to get 17 and a quarter right there, and that's going to get you really close, okay? And then you can you're going to end up moving the front end from side to side to make sure that you're right. But that'll at least get your brackets in the ballpark, so you can get your bolts in there and get nuts on them. And now we're going to go ahead and put the front end up there. On the front end, we had up there just a second ago, but on every one of these trucks, these frame caps could be adjusted a little bit differently. And this one was high, and we actually took everything off so we could actually get to it to where you can see it better. These two bolts, we went in to have them loosened. That whole frame cap was too high up again, like I just said. So we just dropped it back down and re-tightened re the bolts. And now we're going to go ahead and um, put the front end back on. We've got the extreme on there. We've got a couple guys to help us put it up on there. When you do get a jack up, you can get a jack up underneath there. Like again, we put the bottom little legs on the side of the um, tow hook bolts first, and then we got a jack to hold it up, and then you can get each side level. And you can go ahead and take a tape measure too if you want to make sure you got the same amount sticking out on the ends on each side by the fender wells. And just make sure all the bolts are tight and plug your lights in. Not all front ends have lights, so maybe you don't have those lights on there. But if you do, um, you've shown how to put them on. You plug them in and everything should be good. But again, just make sure all the bolts are tight. I did tell you this one fit an 07 to 10. Actually, the 1500 is an 07 to um, what is that, a 13. So this is 07 to 13, 1500 GMC. And that's the install for that truck. And I hope you like your Frontier truck gear front end replacement or extreme front end replacement.